Eu vou ver se eu consigo ver a mão e 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 ver se eu Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Can you hit that subscribe button if you've not and if you have, thank you so much. So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look. So without any further ado, let's slide, jump or walk into the video. So I'm starting off with lining my eyebrows and to do that I'm using Davies eyebrow pencil in the number 003. I'm following the exact shape of my eyebrows. And I'm using very light strokes to do this. And then on the top part, I'm doing the same. Just lining. And following the shape of my brows. And then on the on the arc on the arc I just follow the same shape I drew on on the bottom is the same shape that I'm going to draw on the top. Many people have challenges on that. That's how I go about it. So I'm doing the same on the other side. And by the way, if you don't know how to do your eyebrows, I have a very, very, very detailed um, video on how you can do your eyebrows perfectly. I don't know if I'm going to pin it or I'm going to leave the link on the description box. So kindly go check that out. And I guarantee you that after watching that video, you'll just be able to do your eyebrows very easily and perfectly. So just go watch that. So I'm done lining the brows. I just want to confirm if uh, they look alike. Now after that, I've just uh, filled in the brows. And now I am just applying concealer on my eyelid. And the concealer I'm using today is the Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. You can also use um, an eyeshadow primer for this. I'm now going to use this. And I'm just going to apply that. And I'm leaving a little space in between my eyebrows. I'm not going to go all the way up to my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to tap this in and I'm not going to do a, to draw a cut crease today. I'm now going to apply my eyeliner and I'm using the W7 liquid eyeliner. And now I'm just going to apply my mascara. And this is very helpful when you apply your 
forced lashes because it gives it makes you look like you don't have any forced lashes because they blend very easily with the forced lashes after application you don't look like a, you have two layers of eyelashes and now i'm just uh, massaging my primer and today i'm using a legal matte primer for this i want to concentrate it more around my t-zone area because that's where i produce a lot of oils within a few minutes for foundation today i'm going to use um, super stay foundation and i'm using it in the shade coco to highlight i'm going to use a little pro concealer in the shade of fawn For setting powder today, I'm using Revlon. I'm just blending all that together so that I don't look like I have any harsh lines. To highlight, I'm going to use this elf.
and now look at that look at that it's so beautiful i'm in love with it it's looking so so cute it's so cute look at that it's so beautiful i'm in love with it thank you so much for watching